and anything else you guys are missing. Alright, so what I like to do is show you guys how to find the six trigonometric functions of a given angle theta. Uh, this will be a little re review from a geometry. When given a, a right triangle, uh, we automatically know we can always use the Pythagorean theorem. Uh, right now we have a missing side, and in accordance to theta, that is going to be our adjacent side. So, uh, if we remember our Pythagorean theorem, we know that the hypotenuse squared is equal to the leg squared plus the leg squared. Also, we call it c squared equals a squared plus b squared. So, if we know that our longest side, it's also the side that's directly across from our 90 degree angle, is always going to be our hypotenuse. Then our two legs are going to make up our adjacent and our opposite. We know that the side opposite or farthest away from our angle, which is theta, is going to be the opposite, and the one closest, and what also helps make up the angle theta, is going to be your adjacent. So, now I'm just going to plug in, um, plug in my values. So I have 6 squared equals 2 squared plus, and since I'm using these as my variables, I'll say b squared. 36 equals 4 plus b squared minus 4. 32 equals um, b squared. Take square root. Take square root. Um, I noticed that. Let's go. This is going to be 4 times square root of 2 equals b. So my adjacent side is going to be equal 4 times square root of 2. Um, now it says to find the six trigonometric functions. So we know the six trigonometric functions are sine, cosine, and tangent. And then the uh, um, inverse of my sine is going to be cosecant, uh, secant, and cotangent. Now, another thing you guys um, might want to remember is my sine is always going to be my um, opposite when dealing with the triangle is going to be my opposite over my um, hypotenuse. So I have opposite over hypotenuse, cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse, and then tangent is going to be opposite over adjacent. And then the rest of these are just flipped over. So Opposite of theta is going to be 2 over I my hypotenuse. It's going to be 2 over 6. One third. Cosine is going to be adjacent, 4 pi over 2. 4 times square root of 2 over 6. I can divide the top and bottom um, by 2 on there. So that's going to equal 2 pi over thirds. My tangent is going to be opposite over my. 2 over my 4 square root of 2, um, and then I can multiply by um, multiply the top and bottom by square root of 2. And then obviously, um, those are going to reduce down, so I have square root of 2 over 4, as this becomes a 2. Square root of 2 times square root of 2 is 2, 2 times 2 is 4. My cosecant is going to be hypotenuse over opposite, so to be 6 over 2, which is 3. My cosecant, which is going to be hypotenuse, which is 6, over my adjacent, which is 4 over square root of 2. Again, multiply by square root of 2, rationalize the denominator on both sides. Um, these can go ahead and get canceled out. I can reduce this down to, sorry, let's do it now. Three halves, and then this is going to be again over four. Two square root two times square root two is two. Two times two is four, and then my cotangent, which is my adjacent, four square root two over six, which becomes a two thirds square root two. So when given a six, um, when given a triangle, to find the six trigonometric functions.